Ian from RTO here. Welcome to what you're here in the UK is a bank holiday Monday. And it's typical bank holiday Monday. No sunshine yet. Um, and we're going to start off this week with a viewer's request. And I know at least one person knows about this band and that's Rob Walker. And I'm sure he'll be watching this because it's about Elbow, a band from his neck of the woods. Um, Elbow were formed in Bury, which is just outside of Manchester, in 1997 by a certain Mr. Garvey. Guy Garvey, who was only age 16 at the time. And then he asked, he met uh, Mark Potter, who got his brother involved, uh, and then Richard Jupp come on bar board, and together they formed a band called Mr. Soft, named after the Cockney Rebel song. And when Craig joined, they played their first gig in Ramsbottom, which I know where Ramsbottom is because it's on one of the railways I visit. And I changed the name to Elbow, inspired by the line by in the TV drama The Singing Detective in which Philip Marlowe describes the word elbow as the loveliest word in the English language. Yours. Very interesting. They've re um, released nine albums. Um, I've got every single one of them. I really like this band. They're a little bit different and they're quite gentle. Now, I like all the albums. There isn't a bad album on the whole, but they're ones that, again, that I prefer to others. Now, if if your favourite's at the bottom, it's not, I don't dislike it. We all like things differently. So, um, but, I don't, some people, I think, sometimes think that if I put an album at the bottom, I don't like it. I do like it. I do like every album on, in this catalogue. So, let's get cracking. So, coming in at number nine... This album's from 2017, and it's the seventh, and it's called Little Fictions. And it's the first without the founding drummer Richard Jupp, who had left the band by this time. So we have got Guy Garvey on vocals and lead guitars, Craig Potter on the keyboard and piano and backing vocals, and he produced the album, Mark Potter's on guitars, Pete Turner's on the bass, and they brought in as an additional musician who's sort of been with them. And that's Alex Reeves on the drums. And we got the Hale Orchestra, members of the London Contemporary Voices. First track on this one is called Magnificent, and in brackets, she says. This isn't too bad. I like Pete Turner's bass line. I think Pete Turner's a pretty good bass player. It's an intricate part of elbow music. And it's a great vocal from Guy. I love his vocals. It's a solid track. Gentle Storm comes next. Now this one's okay. It's not the best track on the album. But it's a good track. It's quite gentle. Then we get Trust the Sun. Um, this one's alright. This one's a little bit flat. But it has got some lovely piano work um, from Craig. Uh, he's a really good pianist. And he's sort of, if it weren't for that, I'd think this would be really boring. But that is that piano that adds to this. Then we get a track called All Disco. My favourite track on here. This is what I like about Elbow. They can be lively but genteel at the same time. It's a really good track. Then we get Head for Supplies, a really nice track again. Some nice guitar work from Mark Potter on this. Really good, strong track. And then we get Firebrand and Angel. Guy's vocals are lovely on this. And the, so the harmonies. Now, that's sort of the other high point of Elbow, the harmonies on this, on their albums, is really good. It does help when you've got people that can sing. There's as good as the lead singer. Um, then we get K2. Not a that fun of this one. It's a bit long and it's a little bit monotonous. 
Mont Finesse, uh, lovely ly lyrics written by Guy, uh, and it's a nearly one of these gentle little tracks. Little Fictions, now this is, um, goes on a little bit, it should have ended after five minutes, it's sort of just too long. I like it, I like it, but it's just too long. And then one of my favourite tracks on the album, and in all honesty I think this is the one I'm going to put in the playlist, thinking about it, and it's called Kindling. I love the strings on this. They use strings very well in this band, and I think this it gives a lot of depth that some of the other tracks lack. As I said, this is not a bad album. It's got some really good highlights on here, and I do like it. Um, and there are a couple of the memorable tracks on here, and that's probably why this is bottom, although I do play this album. And I'll give this one an Arteos ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in number 8. It's the most recent album. It was released in 2021. And it's called Flying Dream. And it came out on 19th of November 2021. So we've got Guy Garvey on the vocals. Craig Potter on keyboards. Mark Potter on guitars. Pete Turner on bass. Alex Reeves back on the uh, drums and we've got clarinet and saxophone done by Sarah Field and Jessica Hoop on backing vocals we've got other people we've got Wilson Atetti, Adele Amoto and Marty Ruckberg as well doing backing vocals first track is called Flying Dream 1 again very nice track uh, some lovely playing on this very intricate playing as well great vocal from Guy it's pretty good. Then we get After the Eclipse. Now I like this track. And I love the interplay here between the two brothers. Uh, the piano and guitar really sort of blend in well. It really works. It's a solid track. It's a Bird. It's got some nice chill out music on here. The saxophone is really nice on here. From, uh, from Sarah Field really is good six words this is my second favorite track on the album uh, again it's dominated by craig's piano work it's got such a hooky melody as well great track um calm and happy solid track there's nothing wrong with it it's not one of my favorites but i still like listening to it um come on blue really relaxing track I think it does help when you, that it's Guy's vocals that give it that calmness. The Only Road. I like this track. It's quite, this is quite raunchy for, <laughs> for Elbow. They're not known for their great track, rock tracks. But I like this. It's got a little bit of grit to it. Then we get Radio Sky, oh, Red Sky Radio. In brackets, baby, baby, baby. Another really good track. It's got all... What I like about this track, it's got different sorts of elements of sound, melodic, a really clever um, bits of this. It includes a little bit of More Wishing by Ref, Richie Swift. Very clever how they've incorporated that in that song. Very, very well done. Next track is A Seldom Seen Kid. Named after an album by them. Um, it's funny that it's another of those bands that release an album and don't have a song called that and then they put it on another album. I like this track. It could have fitted on the Seldom Seen Kid album. It's a really good track. I like that one. And my favourite track is the last one. What Am I Without You? It's got 65 to this. Uh, best one on the album. The keyboard from Craig is really good on that. Solid track. Now this is a bit of a mixed bag on for me. There are some really, really strong tracks on there. And there's some some that are not. Um, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, then coming in at number 7. We go back to where it all started for them in 2001 with the debut album, Asleep in the Back. 
So this is Guy, Mark, Craig, Pete, and Richard, the original lineup. We found these were found, this one was featured on a Battle of the Debuts not so long ago. Um, and the first track is the classic, uh, my fa one of my favourite tracks by the band, Any Day Now. Fantastic, great vocals from Guy. Mark Potter's guitar work on this is fantastic. I love that track. Then we get Red. Okay, this is okay, but it is a bit monotonous in places. Um, Little Beast. I love the arrangement on this one. The percussion is so good. And you've got Pete Turner's bass line, which is really good. And then little bits of guitar from Mark that's all entwined in that bass line. Great little track. Powder Blue. The two Potter brothers again. Absolutely wonderful how they worked well together and they're sort of harmonizing if it were two singers you say they harmonize well together the guitar and keyboard work really complement each other then we have a track called bitten by the tailfly loveless very gentle and then and then all of a sudden you get a power chord from mark which happens with elbow songs you think it goes quiet and then they put something a bit raunchy in there it's absolutely brilliant track then we get the title track called asleep in the back i think the highlight of this is um, guy's delivery in the vocal and crates piano newborn good track but it does go on a little long i think it's about three minutes too long i do enjoy it again but it goes on too long and it's quite psychedelic as well don't mix your drinks sound advice but I find this track very boring I've never liked it presuming Ed rest easy very atmospheric again a little bit too long um, coming second nice melodic trancey track this is some nice um, harmonies in this then we get Can't Stop. Not the best track on the album. Probably, I think, the weakest one. I've never been keen on that one. And then we get Scattered, Black and White. Really nice. One of my favourite gentle songs by um, Elbow. Great. It's probably Guy's best vocal on the album. I think this is a really um, good debut album. Some of the tracks are a little bit long and sort of lost themselves but there's some real bold nor uh, moments on this and i do love this album so i'm going to give this an rto ranking of eight out of ten okay then coming in at number six we're going to number to 2005 now this is the third album and it's leaders of the free world um released in 2005 uh, we've got Guy, Craig, Mark, Peter and Richard playing the instruments. And we've got some extras on here. We've got Alexis Smith and Jason Boshoff auditioning program. Joe Olsen and Stella Page on strings. Dylan Droop, Jup, which is laughter on the Mexican standoff. Okay, there's some great tracks on this one. The first one being one of them, Station Approach. I love this track. I love how this builds up from a gentle start to a really good crescendo. I love the keyboard on this. It's one of my top ten tracks, my elbow. Then we have a track called Picky Bugger. I love the title. Very English. Um, I like the guitar work for Mark on this, and the effects are really good. Forget myself. Now, one of the, there's so many things I like about Elbow, and this one of them is there for the percussion. Um, especially with Richard Jupp, his arrangement of the percussion is so good, and um, you've got a great bass line from Pete. So you've got this percussion and B, the engine room. He's working well on that track. I love that track. The stops. A nice mellow, mellow track with different sorts of element. 
there's a bit of a bell on here um, really adds to the track then we get my favourite track on here is the title track um, Leaders of the Free World again top 10 tracks love the bass line um, from Pete absolutely brilliant the drumming's good on this Guy sings a great vocal it's a really good track and Imagine the Fair probably one of the weaker tracks on here I'm not too keen on that one Mexican Standoff great track and um, this is quite heavy for um, Elbow and I think it's probably one of the heaviest tracks I ever done I love the guitar riff in this from my absolutely astonishing track then we get the Ever There one of the non memorable songs I tried to get some more love for this song and I listened to it and I can't um, so I'll move on to um, the next track my very best the keyboard work on this is great from, uh, from Craig it just adds some depth and colour to the track um, great expectations nice track and then we get puncture repair again it's very pleasant but it doesn't set me on fire a great solid album from uh, from elbow some outstanding tracks on here um, and I'm gonna give this an RTO ranking of 8.3 okay then coming in at number five we've got the second album now from 2003 cast of thousands so it's Gar, Guy, Craig, Mark, Pete and Richard again and on here we've got additional vocals on Ribcage by the London Community Gospel Choir Strings on Fugitive Mew Motel and Crawling with Idiot arranged by Ian Burge Cellos are done by Ian Burge and Chris Woseley and then there's lots of people doing violins there's more people in the choir and also the crowd from Glastonbury 2002 Marcus and Becky Jean Agave uh, brother and, guys, brother and sister are singing backing vocals on this as well so lots of people on this album so the first track is Ribcage um, quite like this track because it's got a great piano line all the way through uh, really works love that track Fallen Angel comes next which is my favourite track on here I like the distorted guitar at the beginning from Mark it's distorted without being heavy and a, and a great vocal from Guy The Fugitive Motel comes next a very ambient track love the keyboard sound on this some nice gentle guitar on this good track Schnooks in brackets progress report it's one of these tracks that's got a, again some interesting a percussion from Richard and I think that's what makes this track stand out is the percussion switching on switching off yeah it's one of them elbow tracks that's not very interesting they do now and again do tracks that I just don't do anything for me not a jab not a jab not a job even and this one's a bit more upbeat it's very commercial sounding for um, for Elbow. They're not known for their commercial sounding tracks, but this one is. It's really good as well. Then I've got your number. This is one of these tracks that's been stripped down to its bare minimum, and it works, and it's got lots of atmosphere on that one. Then we get Buttons and Zips. Any other band would call this Unplugged. But this is standard sort of sound for Elbow. It's a great track. Very quirky. Crawling with the Idiot. Crawling with Idiot. This reminds me of some of their stuff off one of their best albums. Which we'll talk about later. It's a little bit more stripped back as well. Uh, it's This sound was being um, sort of developed. And I love that track. Then we get Grace Under Pressure. Love this track as well. I love the percussion in this as well. It's just some of the best that Richard did. Then we get Flying Dream 143. Very short track. Flying Dream, of course, would become an album title. 
and I think it's a nice little track. This is a really good album. The Della that developed from that debut album took it another step forward and they were going in the right direction uh, this is a solid album so I should give it an RTA ranking of 9 out of 10 ok then coming in at number 4 we go to the 6th album released in 2014 the take off and landing of everything this was Richard Jupp's last album with Elbow so it's Richard, Guy, Craig, Mark and Pete. Additional people on this one, we've got Tim Barber on the trumpet, Catherine Curlett on trumpet, Jimmy Goodwin on backing vocals, Peter McPhail on baritone saxophone clarinets and soprano saxophone. And we've got Bob Marsh doing some trumpets as well. The Halley Orchestra strings is on this. Chris Worsley does the score, music score as well. First track on here is called The Blue World. What a fantastic song this is. Great melody to it, some lovely guitar work throughout the track. Excellent track. Ch Charge, a really good track again. I love Craig's keyboards in this. The piano work is very well. And Richard Drupp's drumming is just awesome on this track. Then we get my favourite track on here, um, Fly Boy Blue. Favourite song, the harmonies and the bass are outstanding. New York Morning, the mel melody on this is brilliant. Uh, I love the catchy tune of it. There's so many good tracks like this on this album. Then we get Real Life Angel, very upbeat song. One of their sort of more lively tracks and I mean that in a nice way um, nice arrangement great singing from Guy Honey Sun I love the muted bass guitar on this it's just it's a different sort of sound from a bass guitar it's got a bit of a groove and it's always there in the background my sad captions I love this it's got trumpets on the trumpet on here sounds great and really adds to the track colour fields now you know me and my love of drum machines but there's one band that I've always used them properly and really thought about when they're programming is Elbow and this sort of adds to this track it works it's really good track strong stuff then we get the title track, Take Off and Landing of Everything. What I like about this one, it's got a very 60 psychedelic vibe. It's an experimental sort of art, um, rock. Very, very good. Then the Blanket of Night, the last track. It's, of all the tracks, all these, the other tracks preceding it are really uplifting. And this one just falls flat a bit which is a shame um, but it's a really good album I love it to bits play this one quite a lot so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 9.2 ok top 3 top 1 was always going to be the one first one was penciled in but the t number 3 and number 2 were hard because they're as good as each other. So I'm going to go this one. Um, from 2019, the 8th album. Not my favourite cover. I think it made my very first Stinkers album cover show. And it's giant of all sizes. Um, Guy Garvey again. Craig Potter, Mark Potter, Pete Turner. Alex Reeves drums on all the tracks except Empires on White and Noise White Heart first track on here is called Dexter and Sinster I love the percussion on this It's it sounds like it's done on an old fashioned typewriter <laughs> with that ding I like it and I love Guy's vocal on this it's a great track it really is different, but it works. Seven Vowels. Very psychedelic. 
some lovely guitar work here from uh, Mark and that wonderful vocal that Guy's got he's got a very distinctive voice it's a really good track Empires now this track does remind me of the band Athlete I all, I, well, that's why I compare these bands They've, they all come up with these great ideas and I think it really works it's, it's a great track I thought when I first heard this track I thought I'm not sure that's not Athlete <laughs> but it's really good the delayed some just what I say some basic instruments stripped down simple track but it's well executed great track then we get my favourite track on here. White Noise, White Heat. Again, another classic track. It's just good old fashioned sort of 60s sounding track. I love the organ sound. It's that 60s organ sound. Fantastic track. Then we get Dull Drums, a really interesting track. The uh, the arrangement's pretty good. It's very weird. Sparks weird. Genius. Very good track. My Trouble. Very catchy tune. The percussion on this is really good. Great vocal from Guy as ever. Then we get On the Daron Daron the Road. When it's not finished playing about. Um, love the start of this. It, the acoustic guitar sounds good. And then it's got that 70, 70s keyboard. This should have been. This is what I call a track recorded in the 21st century that sounds more 70s in the 20th century. I think it's great. The drum beat really works. It's quite clever. And the last track on here is called Weightless. And it's got a great guitar solo for Mark Potter, one of the best he's ever done great way to end the album this is a great album there's not a bad track on this from top to bottom in my opinion though when this came out the critics said it was dull and bland there's nothing dull and bland about this I think this is a really good strong hour album it's quite imaginative and it's beautifully put together and it's a well crafted album so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.3 Okay, number two, another great album, the fifth album from 2011, Build a Rocket Boys. On here it's Guy, Mark, Craig, Pete and Richard. Um, got an additional vocal on here, John Mosley sings on uh, track 10 and the Halle Youth Choir. And Margit Van Zerwan on the cello. Adrian Winsky on the cello as well. Stella Page does the violins and violas. Trumpets and flute worn by Bob Marsh. First track. It's my favourite track and it's a classic. The Birds. The grittiness of that guitar. The vocal, the live version of this is absolutely fantastic love this track to death then we get another great track Lippy Kids another great track very atmospheric Guy's vocals are brilliant on this I really love that track With Love this is a great peak bass line um, I don't know if this is a leftover from Seldom Seen Kid album but uh, and it's got that sort of sweet got that sweet low, swing low sweet chariot sort of vibe to it with the gospel choir although it's not that song but it's got that vibe it's a great track neat little rose my favorite second favorite track on this album i love the start of this again pete's bass guitar is really good it's got a really soft 60s psychedelic as well and then my favorite um title track by elbow jesus is a rochdale girl they keep it, keep it simply. I love it when they keep songs simple but execute 100%. It's a great track. 
The Night Will Always Win is our next track. Fantastic song again, gentle, um, atmospheric, great track. I don't think anyone else can sing songs like this as, and this sort, but the guy's voice, I love his vocals. High Ideals, it's an okay track, it's solid. The River, now this is one of my favourite piano pieces by Craig very moving and amb ambient I love it, it really lifts the track Open Arms very similar sort of structure of one of the songs off the seldom seen Kid and we'll talk about that in a minute I think um, that's a great track let me get a little bit more of um, The Birds, this is more of an acoustic song, it's only a 1 minute 31 and then the last track Dear Friends, I think this is the best vocal performance by Guy on this album this is a great album again not a bad track this this is one of them albums when you have a successful album like that the predecessor coming up with a second a follow up album is always hard in any bands and they delivered here again because this is absolutely belter of an album so I should give this an RTO ranking of 9.5 Five. So my number one, if you haven't guessed, um, this was the album that really got me into Elbow. I've heard, I'd heard of them, but this is the one that really got me going. It's the one, the first one I brought as well, and it was the fourth album from two thousand and eight, and it's the seldom seen kid. So it's Guy, Mark, Craig, Pete and Richard. This starts with Starlings. I love the start of this. I love the harmony, and the vocals and then the burst of horns. Great start to the tr album. Great track. Then we got The Bones of You. Um, again... I like how they incorporate songs. In this one we've got Summertime by George Gershwin. Um, I love how it comes in. It's very clever and redone again. It's a great song. Love that song. Mirrorball. Another really good song. It's the m melody on this. The string sound good. I love like, the sound at the beginning. It's just a wonderful track again. Then we get my favourite track on here, Grounds for a Divorce. This is my favourite track ever by Elbow. It's absolutely brilliant. Heavy guitars, the vocal and the lyrics are brilliant. It's a great sing-along, it's great live, the crowd love it, it's a great track. Can't get any better than that. Audience with the Pope, love the beginning of this. It's certainly got that sort of Italian feel to it you know I like that song you know, expect some of the Sicilian Mafia to turn up really good Weather to Fly probably one of the weaker tracks on the album you've had four absolute corkers and then this five real good ones and then this sort of it's a little bit more flat but it's still a very good track then we get the loneliness of a tower crane driver what a great title love this track I just think how inventive this band are fantastic track then we get the fix the harmonies are brilliant on this a very very quirky little track and some lovely keyboard work from Craig some Raya another one of Craig's fantastic piano pieces and then just add to it that lovely vocal delivery of Guy then we get my second favourite track by Elbow ever, One Day Like This. This is such an uplifting track. The harmonies are brilliant. Um, what I like about this is the, you know, how they, the harmonies, it's just such a wonderful uplifting song. And I do like the guitar work from Mark on this. It's really good. What a track. And it is going in the playlist as a bonus today because I couldn't not do a playlist without putting this on. So uh, 
what a great track that is and then we get friends like ours starts off slow then the middle bit comes in the strings the piano it's just like a really sort of alternative rock um orchestral piece absolutely brilliant we're away again craig's piano work on this is good it's just such a delight to listen to gentle percussion from richard great track this is my favorite album not because it's the first one i brought but it's probably got some of four or five of my favorite tracks ever by elbow again not a bad track on this and out of all my elbow albums this is the one i play to death i still love playing it today and so i'm going to give this an rto ranking of 9.6 so there we go, a little bit of elbow. Um, if you've never really heard the band, this is your opportunity to have a listen. Because there's one or two people that, when I did the Battle of the Davey with Athlete, had never really heard them. So this is another good reason to do a ranking on them. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, and it'll be for Classic Album. And this week we are going back to the 50s, and we're going to the granddaddy of soul himself mr james brown and we're going to look at his debut album please 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 so join me for that one if you like a little bit of soul i know a good friend new good friend craig does he's a he's the soul man um i hope he watches it i'll send him a message bye for now <laughs>